who am I? That means, why, why do you ask that question, who am I? Hmm? That means there is some other I there you want to know. I, I don't know. That question to me has no meaning at all. The very fact that you ask that question, who am I, implies that there are two things. The I you know, there is another I, the nature of which you do not know. Hmm? So you will be better off by asking the question and get an answer, if you can, about what you know. The question, who am I, implies that there is some other I, the nature of which you really do not know and you want to know. I don't know if I make myself... Do you know anything about yourself, first of all? What do you know? Tell me. Hmm? What he has been told, where he lives, what his name is, how is. much money he is drawing <laughs> <laughs> every month, and his telephone number, how many people he has met, you see, how many experiences he has gathered during the course of his thirty years. That's all that he can tell. You see, all the books he has read, he can repeat mechanically. Hmm? All the information he has gathered and all the experiences he has collected. And so that is all that is there. Hmm? Why you are dissatisfied with it and why you are searching for something other than that? Hmm? Can you tell me something about yourself? Other than the information that you gather, <coughs> that is what you know. Yeah. Huh? What I found there is not the answer. Otherwise, the questions what? would not persist. No, what, what, what did you find there? Just knowledge. Hmm? knowledge. So that question, that idiotic question is born out of the knowledge you already have. So this is the knowledge that is there that has thrown up this question, who am I? Hmm? So you want to know and through that knowing the knowledge you have gathers momentum. You are adding more and more and more. Hmm? If there is anything to be known there, what all you know should come to an end. So by this pursuit, you see, or the demand, to get an answer for that question, you are adding more and more to the knowledge. Hmm? So don't you see the absurdity of the question? Who am I? It doesn't matter who suggested that, who threw that question at you, who recommended that question. Hmm? There's nothing there to know. What is there is all that you know. Hmm? When that is not there, there is no need for you to know <coughs> anything and there is no way of knowing anything about what is there. But who am I is not really a question. A statement. Who am I is a pointer. Yes. Where does it lead you, the pointer? All right, if it is a pointer, what you do? You stay put there and instead of following that, you suck the finger. I, I'm not, you see, <laughs> trying to be rude or anything, you see. What do you do with the pointer? The pointer points to where there is no, nothing to be pointed. Yes. Who am I takes you, or these are all nonsensical, nonsensical words. That's all that I, this question itself is a nonsensical question. Yes. Uh -huh. But that it is only so if you use it as a question. All right. Even if you use it as a pointer, the very direction is wrong. It's not even a pointer. Then, all right, what is it then? It shows you that you are. It shows you that I am. And I am is the basis. I, I am the... I, what I am is the knowledge I have no, about my... The knowledge. I am is what I am. But what does it mean, what I am? It doesn't have to mean anything. Anymore. Yes. I am is not knowledge. There is nothing there, no existence there. Quite. Independent of the question. Quite. Yes. So it is the end of knowledge. So the question should end, because the question no. itself